I remember one time when I was in fourth grade, our teacher had everybody in the class chew on these things called plaque disclosing tablets. Have you ever seen these? They're these little red tablets that you chew on after you brush your teeth. And what they do is they turn your teeth red wherever uh, you aren't brushing well enough because there's a dye inside the tablet that reacts with the plaque on your teeth and makes that plaque turn red. And so it's kind of a tool to help you understand kind of you're not brushing your teeth well as well as maybe you think you, you are. You see, those tablets don't improve your oral health, but they do reveal where you aren't doing enough to help your oral health. And in today's Dining Room Devo, Paul claims that the Law of Moses has a similar purpose to those magical red tablets that we all chewed on in the fourth grade. Today we're looking at Galatians 3, verses 19 through 20. Paul says, What then was the purpose of the law? It was added because of transgressions until the seed to whom the promise referred had come. The law was put into effect through angels by a mediator. A mediator, however, does not represent just one party, but God is one. Now, in these verses, Paul asks about the purpose of the law of Moses. I mean, why was it there in the first place? You know, by asking this question, he might be, he might be trying to answer a question that the, the false teachers, the Judaizers, had cynically been asking. As you remember, uh, Paul has been making the case that the Gentile Christians don't have to follow the law of Moses because of what Jesus has done at the cross. And so these Judaizers may have been saying, well, look, if we don't have to follow the law of Moses anymore, then why in the world did God even give us the law of Moses? Why did he give it to us at all if we don't have to follow? And so Paul here answers his own question. He says that the law was added because of transgressions. That phrase may seem a little confusing, and I like the way that the New Living Translation says it, because it says it much more simply. The New Living Translation says that the law was given to show people how guilty they are. And so you might say that the purpose of the law was to make us aware of our sinfulness, the sinfulness that lived inside of us. It's kind of like those, those plaque tablets that turn your teeth red. The law showed the ugliness of the plaque that accumulates on our souls. Paul says in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that's just a true statement. Everybody has sinned. Everybody has, has fallen short. And therefore, we don't get into heaven because of our actions. That statement is true, but it's a, the statement is also empty if I'm not aware of just how I have sinned. It's one thing to say that everybody's sinned, but if we're not aware of how we've sinned, then it's not really helpful to say that we've sinned, is it? Without some kind of standard to compare myself to, I cannot understand just how much I need God to save me. And so Paul also says in Romans 4.15 that where there is no law, there is no transgression. You see, the purpose of the law is that it prevents us from saying that we didn't know better. This is a different way to look at sin, isn't it? Because we're often tempted to think that when we break a commandment, that that's what makes us a sinner. That it is the transgression against the law that turns us from non-sinners into sinners. But Paul argues differently. See, breaking the law doesn't make you a sinner. The fact is, we're sinners. We just are. We have a sin nature inside of us. The law, what it does is it provides the evidence of our guilt. And so the more we understand the law, the more we understand exactly how guilty we really are and always have been. And when we know we're that guilty, our response should be to cry out for God's mercy. I mean, we're all guilty before God. And the good news is that Jesus has been revealed as the one, as the seed, the one who brings us the promise of salvation. So Paul says that the purpose of the law was only, it was only meant to be a temporary measure. And we're going to talk about this in future videos. The law was meant to last until the seed, that is Jesus, came. And so Paul closes this passage talking about the law being put into effect by a mediator. I don't know about you, but these verses seem a little bit confusing to me. But remember that Paul's argument has been that God's covenant with Abraham 
precedes or came before and is therefore superior to the law of Moses. And he essentially continues this line of reasoning here. He says that the law was given through a mediator, that is, Moses. See, God did not speak directly to the people. He spoke to Moses, and then Moses delivered the message to the people. And why did God choose to do it that way? Well, it's because the people were sinful. They turned against God even after he rescued them. They turned against him over and over again. God, in fact, called the Israelites a stiff-necked people. See, the law revealed sin, but the law did not cleanse from sin. It only revealed how separated from people the God was. However, God's covenant with Abraham had no mediator. God spoke directly to Abraham face to face. He made the promise right to Abraham. God said that Abraham was righteous because of his faith. And that promise that God made to Abraham gave assurance that the world would be blessed through Abraham's seed, which Paul says is Jesus. He has removed the need for us to be compared to the requirements of the law. Righteousness is ours through faith. It's not that the law is unnecessary. It's just that the promise that was given to Abraham is better than the promise that God gave to Moses. So back to those tablets. I mean, aren't you glad that you don't have to walk around after having taken those, letting everybody see just where you haven't brushed right? And aren't you glad that God doesn't see all the ways we have fallen short of the law's standard? He doesn't see us through the law, but he sees us through our faith instead and through the righteousness that we have been given because of our faith in Jesus Christ. That's good news. Thanks for watching our video. Feel free to like, uh, leave a comment on the video. Uh, follow us at new, newparisfirst.com. May God bless you, and we'll see you next time on Dining Room Devos with Pastor Jeffy Stepp. Take care.